The ancient stone streets of Jerusalem, a city steeped in history and holiness, are witnessing a heartbreaking exodus. Christians, a community deeply rooted in this sacred land for centuries, are packing their belongings, bidding farewell to their homes, and leaving the city they hold dear. A palpable sense of fear hangs heavy in the air, fueled by recent events that have shaken the very foundation of their existence in this revered place. The world watches with bated breath, wondering what could cause this community, known for its resilience and deep-seated faith, to abandon their holy sites and the land where their ancestors walked with Jesus. What terrifying events have transpired to make them choose exile over their homes? This is the story of their plight, a tale woven from fear, uncertainty, and a desperate yearning for peace in the city they call home. To understand the gravity of the current situation, we must journey back in time, tracing the footsteps of Christianity in Jerusalem. Since the very dawn of their faith, Christians have considered Jerusalem their spiritual epicenter. This city, where Jesus walked, preached, and ultimately gave his life, holds unparalleled significance. For centuries, Christian pilgrims have traversed treacherous mountains and vast deserts, drawn by an irresistible yearning to touch the holy sites, to walk where Jesus walked. Their unwavering devotion led to the establishment of a vibrant Christian community within Jerusalem's ancient walls. Through times of peace and periods of turmoil, they persevered, their faith an unyielding beacon illuminating even the darkest nights. This historical context makes the current exodus all the more poignant. What began as a trickle of departures has swelled into a steady stream, painting a stark and unsettling picture. What has transpired to fracture this enduring bond between a people and their sacred city? The recent exodus of Christians from Jerusalem is not an isolated event. It is a symptom of a city grappling with escalating tensions. The streets that once echoed with the harmonious coexistence of diverse faiths now resonate with an unsettling silence as more and more Christians choose to leave their ancestral homes. Like a fault line under immense pressure, the delicate balance of coexistence has begun to crack, sending tremors through the city's diverse communities. The once vibrant tapestry of cultures and religions is fraying at the edges, as the strain of living under constant threat takes its toll on the residents. While the reasons behind this exodus are complex and multifaceted, several key factors have contributed to the growing sense of unease. Economic hardships, political instability, and social pressures have all played a role in creating an environment where many feel they have no choice but to leave. Increased incidents of vandalism targeting Christian properties including churches and cemeteries have left the community feeling vulnerable and targeted. These acts of aggression are not just random occurrences, they are deliberate attempts to intimidate and drive out a community that has been an integral part of Jerusalem's history for centuries. These acts of desecration, often committed under the cloak of darkness, strike at the very heart of their faith, leaving behind not just physical damage but also deep emotional scars. The shattered stained glass windows and defaced religious artifacts are painful reminders of the hatred that lurks in the shadows, waiting to pounce on the unsuspecting. Furthermore, a growing climate of intolerance, fueled by inflammatory rhetoric and a lack of accountability for hate crimes, has created an environment where Christians feel increasingly marginalized and unsafe. The rise in hate speech and the failure of authorities to take decisive action against perpetrators have only exacerbated the situation, leaving the community feeling abandoned and isolated. This toxic atmosphere where fear and mistrust fester has driven many to the heartbreaking decision to leave. Families are torn apart as they pack their belongings, say their tearful goodbyes, and embark on an uncertain journey to find safety and peace elsewhere. The departure of these families is not just a loss for the Christian community, but for the entire city of Jerusalem, which is losing a part of its rich cultural and religious heritage. Section 4. Whispers of Fear, Stories of Displacement The true human cost of this exodus is best understood through the personal stories of those forced to flee their homes. These stories filled with pain and resilience offer a glimpse into the lives disrupted by the ongoing conflict and displacement. Families who have called Jerusalem home for generations now find themselves packing their belongings, their faces etched with a mix of sadness and apprehension as they contemplate an uncertain future. The weight of leaving behind a place filled with memories and history is almost unbearable. 
Take for instance the story of Mariam, a woman in her late 70s, who has lived in the Christian quarter of the old city her entire life. Mariam's life has been a tapestry of rich experiences, woven into the very fabric of Jerusalem's history. Her family's roots in Jerusalem run deep, their history intertwined with the city's ancient stones, generations of her family have walked these streets, celebrated in these churches, and lived their lives in the shadow of Jerusalem's storied past. Now, with a heavy heart, she prepares to leave, her voice trembling as she recounts the escalating harassment she has endured. Slurs shouted in the streets, threats scrawled on her door, and a constant fear that follows her like a shadow. The sense of safety and belonging she once felt has been eroded by these relentless acts of intimidation. Her story is not unique. It is a narrative shared by many in her community, each with their own tales of fear and displacement. Countless others echo her fears, describing a growing sense of being unwelcome, of being targeted simply for their faith. The Christian community in Jerusalem, once a vibrant and integral part of the city's mosaic, now feels increasingly marginalized and vulnerable. These personal accounts, filled with heartache and uncertainty, paint a stark and sobering picture of the challenges confronting Jerusalem's Christian community. The stories of displacement are not just about losing a home. They are about losing a sense of identity, a connection to one's heritage and the comfort of familiar surroundings. The emotional toll is profound, leaving scars that may never fully heal. As the sun rises over Jerusalem, the city awakens to another day of uncertainty for its Christian residents. The whispers of fear that permeate their lives are a constant reminder of the fragile nature of their existence in a place they have long called home. The resilience of these individuals, however, shines through their stories, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. Despite the challenges, the spirit of the community remains unbroken. Families continue to gather, to pray, and to support one another, finding strength in their shared faith and heritage. The bonds that tie them to Jerusalem are not easily severed, and their determination to persevere is a testament to their enduring connection to this ancient city. In the face of adversity, the Christian community of Jerusalem holds on to hope. Their stories of displacement are also stories of resilience, of a steadfast commitment to their faith and their home. As they navigate the challenges ahead, their unwavering spirit serves as a beacon of light in these troubled times. Section 5 Empty Pews, Silent Bells, A City Transformed The exodus of Christians is not just a personal tragedy for those forced to flee, it is a profound transformation that reverberates through the very soul of Jerusalem. Families who have called this city home for generations are now packing their belongings, leaving behind memories and a way of life that has been intertwined with the city's history for centuries. This mass departure is not merely a demographic shift, it is transforming the very fabric of Jerusalem. The skyline once dotted with the spires of churches is slowly changing, reflecting a city in transition. The city, once a vibrant tapestry of faiths and cultures, where the sounds of different languages and the sights of diverse traditions created a unique mosaic, is witnessing a slow unraveling. This unraveling is not sudden but a gradual process, as the Christian presence, a vital thread in its intricate design, begins to fade. Streets that were once bustling with life are now eerily quiet, a stark contrast to the lively scenes of the past. As the Christian community diminishes, so do the symbols of their faith. Churches that once resonated with the sound of hymns and prayers now stand eerily silent, their pews empty, their doors closed. These places of worship, once the heart of the community, are now mere shadows of their former selves. The silence within these sacred spaces is deafening. The absence of congregants, the lack of communal prayers, and the stillness of the air all speak to a loss that is both profound and palpable. Schools that once nurtured generations of young minds, instilling in them a sense of identity and belonging, now struggle to fill classrooms. The laughter and chatter that once filled the hallways are now replaced by an unsettling quiet. Desks that were once occupied by eager students now sit vacant, a testament to the dwindling numbers. The educational institutions that played a crucial role in shaping the future of the community are now facing an uncertain future themselves. The empty hallways and deserted playgrounds are a stark reminder of the exodus. The echoes of laughter and learning that once reverberated through these spaces are now just memories. The vibrant cultural life that once characterized the Christian quarter, a blend of traditional crafts, bustling markets and warm hospitality, is slowly fading. The markets that were once filled with the sounds of haggling and the smells of spices are now quiet. Market stalls that once displayed a variety of goods now stand empty. 
The craft shops, which were a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the community, are now deserted. The streets, once alive with activity, are now quiet. This transformation is not just physical, but also emotional. The sense of community, the shared experiences, and the collective identity are all being eroded, replaced by an unsettling quietude. This exodus is leaving a void in Jerusalem, not just physically, but also spiritually. The neighborhoods that were once vibrant with life are now empty, the streets deserted, and the religious sites quiet. The spiritual emptiness is palpable. People who once prayed together now find themselves praying alone. The sense of community and shared faith is being replaced by isolation and solitude. The city's claim to be a place of religious tolerance and coexistence is being challenged. The departure of the Christian community, a vital part of its historical and cultural identity, raises questions about the future of this coexistence. As the Christian community continues to dwindle, the city's rich tapestry of faiths and cultures is being altered. The once diverse and vibrant community is now facing an uncertain future. The historical landmarks and cultural symbols that have defined Jerusalem for centuries are now at risk. The efforts to preserve this heritage are becoming increasingly challenging as the community that once upheld these traditions diminishes. The question that hangs heavy in the air is, can Jerusalem truly be the city of peace without its Christian heart? The worried faces and contemplative expressions of the people reflect the uncertainty and concern for the future. The hope for peace and coexistence remains, but it is now tinged with a sense of loss. The diverse religious sites and the people praying for peace are a reminder of what is at stake. The future of Jerusalem as a city of peace and tolerance depends on the preservation of its diverse cultural and religious heritage.